my wonderful subscribers and viewers and welcome back to another video i want to take the time out to say thank you very much for your love and your support if you're new to my channel welcome my name is michelle cole so today i'll be sharing with you stop condemning sinners glory to god we were all born in sin and shape in iniquity and a lot of us my brothers and sisters we have to realize that we were once there and we have heard the message of God and we change our lifestyle. Let us pray for them. Sinners do sinner stuff. When they are sinners, they do sinful stuff. And we have to remember that we have to pray. We have to pray for them. And we are on a mission to do the work of God. Once we are a disciple of God, we have to love them. We have to pray for them. Because let me tell you something. The Bible says, God does not come to call the righteous, but for sinners to repent. And we have to have a forgiving heart. We have to have a loving heart. We have to have the spirit of meekness. Because there are certain situations is so hard to deal with. And we have to have the spirit of meekness. We have to have all the characters of God. And sometimes... As Christian, we say all manner of evil against sinners. You know, we have to be very careful. We have to love them, pray for them, because sometimes they're on the outside looking on the inside. Sometimes they are wounded. And what we need to understand here today, the church is an hospital. The church, hallelujah, is, 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 is there for everyone. Just as we have the hospital. The hospital care for every type of sickness is the same thing with the church. The church is an hospital. Everyone come there for healing. So we got to be careful. Remember we were once out there. We used to party. We used to use all type of nasty words. But God changed our hearts. Why are we so full of of ourselves and feel like we are mighty and more powerful and more holy. Let me say this to you. God don't like sin. But God loves every one of us. Sin. Sin is a reproach to every man. But righteousness exalts a nation. So when we see our brother and sisters out there. They are sinners. Let us love them. Let us pray for them. Let us encourage them. Instead of condemning them. Toss them aside. Oh you are this. You are that. Oh I don't want to mingle with you. Let me say this to you. Let us be kind with our words. And let us stop. Hallelujah. Talk about the things they are doing. Or things they used to do in the past. Let me say this to you. When you are in sin, your eye is blind to certain things. The God of this world blind your eyes. When you are in darkness, you stumble. But once you come into marvelous light, you will understand. Hallelujah. The value of the power of God. But once you are in sin, you are going to do sinful stuff. So let us pray for them. Instead of condemning them, let us pray for them. Tell them I'm praying for you. Glory to God. I pray that you will change your life. Bless them. Say God bless you. Instead of curse them. Say bless you. And that is why Psalms 1 said. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. Now stand it in the way of sinners. Now sit it in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord. Let us pray for them. And Isaiah 61. Glory to God. Hallelujah, verse 1, they say, the Spirit of God is upon me, because he anointed me to bring good ties unto the meek. He had sent me to bind up the broken heart and to proclaim liberty and to set the captive free. To own prison door for those who are bound. We are here on a mission. Hallelujah. We are here on a mission for God. Let us do the work of God. Let us go on the byways and edges and preach the gospel. Hallelujah. In season out of season, preach to sinners. A lot of them, they may not be saved, but they will love to hear the word of God. They will love, hallelujah, to, to, to get a word of prayer. They will love to get a word of encouragement. 
commitment. And sometimes just saying I'm praying for you. We have to be careful. Because God is love. And in him there's no darkness. Sometimes we walk around. And we pass them like we don't even know them. We scorn them. What are we doing? Where are we going? Which heaven? Let me tell you something. When a sinner repent, God re rejoice, my brothers and sisters. So tell me now, we the people of God standing in the gap. What are we doing? We are here to build, not to tear down. And I'm here to encourage every Christian today. Let us pray for the sinner. Let us pray that God will turn their life around instead of condemning them. Put them aside. Cut your eye past them. Let us be careful. Because we were once there. Sometimes we act like we were born saved. And some sinful stuff that we used to do in the past. May God have mercy. And we don't remember our vomit. But we're ready to condemn a sinner. Let us be careful. Just as our God changed our life. God can change their life too. Pray for them. Some of them are bound up in chains. Some of them need deliverance. My brothers and sisters. Our job here on earth is to serve and serve well. Not to condemn them. Sometimes they just need a word of encouragement. Sometimes they just want to know your love. Just a kind word to them. You don't know how you changed your life. So let us be careful with our words. Don't condemn them of their past. Or the things they are doing right now. Just pray for them. Because sinners do sinful stuff. And that's how it is. You, we can't expect a sinner to, to operate like a Christian. No way. That's not going to be because they're a sinner. They want to do sinful stuff. And it's easier to please the flesh. And we all know that. But let us be careful. Let us not caught up in this thing where we condemn them. We toss them aside. They need prayer. Oh, I'm not praying. I'm not praying. I'm not praying for him. I'm not praying for her. Let us be careful. Because if we walk in the likeness of God, we will understand that his grace is sufficient. And we have to pray for them because God is love. And in him, there's no darkness. So let us be careful or we treat sinners. We were once there. We used to do sinful stuff too. Remember that? And it changes. God can change that. Just pray for them. Just pray for them. Breathe a word of prayer. Share a word of encouragement. And allow God to do the rest. Because this word, his word is quick. It's powerful. It's sharp. Then any two-edged sword that can pierce through bone and marrow which is a discerner to the heart, is the word that do the job. You preach the word, and on the, and on the authority and the power of the Holy Ghost, it speaks to your heart. It tear down everyone, every stone heart, and give your heart a flesh. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And my brothers and sisters, remember, let us pray for them instead of you have a blessed weekend in the Lord. And remember your love, your chosen, and your redeemed. And there is none like you. So you take care now. Bye, wonderful people. Bye.